I think we all knew this was gonna taste incredible, that smoky flavor with the brine and the rub and the glaze and that butter all just helped create a beautiful, moist, tender breast. How good does that look? Mm. G'day, I'm Shuey. Welcome to Smoke Barbecue Sauce, where we want to help you improve your barbecue game. Today, I'm going to be smoking some chicken breast fillets. Now, there is some prep work involved. To get the best out of this recipe, I recommend brining the chicken breast overnight. So, let's get into it. So, let's make our brine. We have two quarts of water, but we only need to start with about a cup or two. So into a saucepan, add the water we need to start with, plus six tablespoons of kosher salt, half a cup of brown sugar, a quarter of a cup of soy sauce, the juice of one half a lemon, and throw the rind in as well, four smashed garlic cloves, and one teaspoon of chili flakes. Heat this up over a high heat, constantly stirring, just until all the sugar and the salt has dissolved. After about five minutes, the sugar and salt should have dissolved, so you can now remove it from the heat. Everything should have blended really well, and we're just gonna allow that to cool completely. And then we can add the brine to a container and the rest of the water. Once our brine is fully made up, we can add our chicken breast to it. And today I'm using boneless and skinless chicken breast fillets. Each one of these is weighing just under 0.8 of a pound. So just put the fillets into the brine, making sure they're all fully covered. Now we can put the lid on and this can go in the fridge overnight. Today, I'm going to be using my 22 inch Weber Smoky Mountain and I want to be smoking in temperatures around 275 degrees Fahrenheit. Now how I'll do this is by filling the charcoal ring with unlit lump charcoal and then I'll half fill a chimney starter with charcoal and light it up. Once it's all fully ashed over, I'll dump that into the centre of the unlit charcoal. I'll add a few chunks of cherry wood for a smoky flavour and I'll start putting the smoker back together. I'll add a foil pan to catch any drippings. I'll put the cooking grate in. I'll connect up an ambient temp probe. I'll also feed through an internal meat probe now just to make our life easier a bit later on. And I'll put the lid on and as that temp rises and gets closer to our target temp, we'll start closing down the bowl vents and just locking it in. It's now time to make some rub for our chicken. Into a bowl or shaker, we need to put four tablespoons of paprika, three tablespoons of brown sugar, three tablespoons of kosher salt, two tablespoons of ground black pepper, one tablespoon of ground cumin, one tablespoon of mustard powder, one tablespoon of garlic powder, one tablespoon of onion powder. Give that a good shake up and now we can get our chicken out of the brine. Place them down on a wire rack that is on a tray and we're just going to pat them dry with some paper towel to remove any excess moisture on the outside. Flip them all over and give them a pat down with the paper towel. Now give the breast a nice coating of our rub that we made up and I like to apply my rub from about 12 inches of height just allows all the rub particles to separate and evenly applied on each piece you don't get clumping. Don't forget the edges. Flip them all over and we'll do the other side. Again, give them a nice good coating of the rub. This rub's got a nice mixture of heat, savory and sweetness in it. Now we're just gonna give that rub about 30 minutes to activate with the protein before we put it in the smoker. The smoker is at temp now, so we can put the chicken on the top cooking grate now. I'll just insert a temp probe into one of the chicken breasts. We're gonna glaze this chicken as it nears closer to that finished temp. So into a saucepan, we need to add half a cup of ketchup, a quarter of a cup of brown sugar, two tablespoons of apple cider vinegar, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, two teaspoons of Dijon mustard. <laughs> Doesn't want to come out. A teaspoon of garlic powder, a teaspoon of onion powder, a quarter of a teaspoon of cayenne pepper. So just stir this up and then put it in the smoker to let it warm up. And that'll let all the sugars dissolve and all those flavors to combine. This is a good time to like this video and subscribe to the channel. And while you're there, you might as well hit that bell button. 
That way you'll get notified every time we upload new content. Once a chicken breast is reading about 135 internally, I'm gonna take it off and put it into a butter bath. So we can remove our sauce and just put the chicken into the foil tray. And now we're just gonna add our butter. Don't be shy with the butter, be generous. And just cover that with foil. And just put the lid on and we're just gonna let that ride out into 155 degrees and then we can glaze it. Our chicken's finally hit an internal temp of 155 Fahrenheit. So, I'm gonna take the thermometer out, get the chicken out of the smoker, put the lid on so the temp doesn't spike too much. We wanna lay the chicken out on a tray. And we sort of wanna work fairly quickly with this. We're gonna utilize some of this butter into our glaze. Oh, this is smelling incredible. Make sure you get all the edges and keep the chicken on the tray, place it back in, put that internal temp probe back into the fillet and lid back on. I'm gonna set the temp probe to 162 Fahrenheit and once that internal temp of that chicken reaches that, they're coming off. Our chicken's finally reached an internal temp of 162 degrees Fahrenheit, so we can get it off the smoker now. So just place the chicken on a cutting board, and we're just gonna let it rest here for about five minutes with a bit of foil over the top. That's it, it's been five minutes. We can now slice this up and serve it with our favorite sides or into a sandwich or a roll. It's also a great meal prep idea for lunches throughout the week. Easy enough to do, throw a few extra chicken breast in the smoker and you're sorted. How good does that look? The only thing left to do is try the chicken. I think we all knew this was gonna taste incredible, that smoky flavor with the brine and the rub and the glaze and that butter all just helped create a beautiful, moist, tender breast. If you'd like to check out this recipe a little further, there's a link in the description to the website where you'll find a wealth of barbecue information. Cheers and thanks for watching.